My intervention relates to agenda item 13.1 and is on behalf of WHO Southeast Asia, Eastern Mediterranean, European, American and Western Pacific regions. We welcome the draft resolution on preparations for the high-level meeting on UHC at the UN General Assembly. We particularly welcome the increased global focus on reorienting health systems towards primary health care, the most efficient and equitable way to achieve UHC, which since 2014 has been a regional flagship priority in several regions. The Southeast Asia region was an early mover on PHC approach historically. CRO produces the annual report on monitoring progress on universal health coverage and the health-related SDGs every year since 2017. This report is the pride of CRO and is the highest downloaded publication in our region. In 2021, amid the COVID-19 response in our region, the member states States launched a new regional strategy for PHC. To complement that, last year we launched a regional forum for PHC oriented health systems, which facilitates knowledge and experience sharing to fast track PHC orientation. Both in initiatives will ac accelerate region wide progress towards UHC. Between 2015 and 2019, the Southeast Asia region's average service coverage index increased from 54 to 62. Between 2014 and 2020, out-of-pocket spending as a share of current health spending in the region decreased from 42.8 to 37.9 percent. Since 2014, the density of doctors, nurses and midwives in the region has improved by over 30%. Of the 270 million additional people projected to be covered by UHC over the course of GPW 13, 110 million, that is more than 40%, are from the Southeast Asia region. In the Eastern Mediterranean region, the member states adopted in 2022 an ambitious agenda to rebuild health systems of the region based on the PHC approach. This is a seven-point agenda which touches all health system components and guides regional efforts to build resilient health systems to advance the dual agenda of UHC and health security based on the PHC approach. The European region is organizing an international conference on PHC policy and practice implementing for better results in October this year in Astana. The conference is being held to commemorate the fifth anniversary of the Astana Declaration and the 15th anniversary of the Alma Ata Declaration on Primary Health Care. The Western Pacific region faces the challenge of a rapidly increasing burden of non-communicable diseases, rapidly aging population, and healthcare systems that are threatened by climate change and natural disasters. Recognizing these challenges, the Western Pacific region endorsed the regional framework on the future of primary health care in the Western Pacific in 2022. This recognizes that strengthening primary health care is essential approach to building a resilient health care system that can deliver UHC. And the region of the Americas has identified five strategic priorities based on the lessons learned from the pandemic and to ensure that we build back better health systems and are more inclusive, more expansive, and more resilient. The primary health care strategy is at the core of these priorities as the foundational approach to recuperate lost public health gains and accelerate recovery and the achievement of the SDGs. Distinguished delegates, let me reflect on the five most common points raised in your interventions. First, the concern for inadequate progress on UHC prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, which has been further exacerbated by the pandemic. 
Two, several of you emphasized that comprehensive primary health care is the cornerstone of achievement of UHC, health SDGs, health security, and the cost-effective approach for people-centered and equity-promoting health system to reach vulnerable and marginalized population group. Third, UHC and PHC need substantive and urgent investment, including through strengthening of health workforce and maximizing benefits of digital health. Fourth, UHC needs multi-sectoral collaboration through whole of government and the whole of society approaches, engagement of community, private sector, and youth are crucial for sustainability of UHC. And fifth, you would, you asked for proactive engagement of countries and other actors in UNGA high-level meeting in UHC, which is an opportunity to bring our UHC progress back on track. I have three responses to this. First, all regions are fully committed to achieving UHC. Second, we have identified a clear strategic path forward, reorienting health systems towards quality, accessible, affordable, and comprehensive primary health care. And third, we assure our countries of WHO's unwavering support in building evidence, in providing strategic guidance, in facilitating operational learning, and in supporting member states before, during, and after the high-level meeting, including in the drafting of the planned political declaration. With Thailand and Guyana as co-facilitators, we call upon all member states for proactive engagement in these activities. It is time for action now. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Dr. Singh. 